I'll be building the chum bucket in my backyard. And then surprising Tom Kenny, the voice actor of SpongeBob, to see if he approves. In the past, I built Bikini Bottom and the Krusty Krab. But you guys noticed one thing was missing. I think this would be a good area. We'll build right here. What? It's good soil. <laughs> Since I actually have no idea how we're gonna contact Tom, I'm gonna go back to the warehouse and figure that out while you guys start building. Well, let's go plan this thing out and get some materials, eh? While I was headed back to the warehouse to contact the voice of SpongeBob, the guy started shopping. What are you wearing, bro? Spider-Man. This is a SpongeBob shoe. Well, I didn't want to be SpongeBob. I get uncomfortable in pub public and this is making things a lot worse. I might not be in SpongeBob clothes, but I'm still pretty festive. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. All right, we're ready to go. Time to go to the chum bucket. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, how am I going to contact this man, Tom Kenny? He is one of the most iconic voice actors of all time. Literally the voice of SpongeBob. So we'll go to Twitter. He doesn't have a Twitter. Let me try Instagram. So I'm seeing one account on Instagram called Real Tom Kenny, but it hasn't been active in over five years and it's not verified. When we built SpongeBob's house, we had to lift it up and it snapped while we were doing that. So this time with the chum bucket, we're gonna build it in two layers so that we don't have to tilt it up and it won't break. We hope. First, we're gonna cut all the wood. This is only my second time using one of these things. How are we gonna make the bucket go out as it goes up? We have to cut a very specific angle into the top and bottom so that when it touches the ground, it leans a little bit. Right now, we're gonna start framing the walls. spent the last few hours trying to find a way to contact Tom Kenny. I've had zero luck so far, so I'm gonna head over to the build site and see if I can help them with the chum bucket. It's not looking good to surprise the voice actor of SpongeBob so far, but I won't give up. The board snapped. The board didn't snap, you snapped the board. So we have to undo the work we just did. So this next step I'm most excited for, we're gonna be building this giant glove that goes on top of the chum bucket that's gonna be turning this entire project into the real thing. We're gonna stack all of these foam boards into a cube and start sculpting the hand shape. Bro, this table is so shaky. Yeah, I can't get it to stay still. <laughs> I'm sculpting the shape of the fingers right now. These are the fingers right here and next we're gonna add the thumb. I'm going to make the top of the glove now, or technically the bottom, you know, when you flip a glove. Right now I'm lining up the wood. Come on, crabs. We got to get this drum bucket built. You can see it's looking like a bucket already. This is not sturdy at all, and I have to be on top of here to sheet the floor for the second floor. After some time, our glove is looking incredible. The next step is to paper mache it so we can paint on top of it later. The way paper mache works is by dipping paper in a water glue mixture and then setting it onto an object and once it dries, it takes the shape. We just completed framing the first level of the chum bucket. We still have the second floor to do, but first we're gonna sheet it so it's stronger. These boards can move however they want so it's super unsturdy until we put these sheets in and we got a wind warning coming so we gotta do it fast. The wind is getting insane right now! Oh my gosh! So far our build is looking incredible, but it's taken five hours alone just to do the bottom half. Now we have to sheet the top. This thing is so massive now. Check out how tall this thing is. It's incredible. So we have the perfect shape of the chum bucket. Next we're gonna be applying these fiberglass sheets and going around it so we can paint it. It's fireproof up to 800 degrees. Do not leave it exposed, very flammable. All right, we just finished putting the fiberglass on top of the chum bucket. Now in the morning, we can come and paint it. Tomorrow is going to be a massive day. We're gonna finish the chum bucket and hopefully surprise the voice actor of SpongeBob with it. I am so excited. A windstorm with gusts over 100 miles per hour has hit Colorado. Dangerous winds are whipping through our area right now, toppling trees into homes. Well, the last time we saw winds as strong as the ones we had today was nearly five years ago. <laughs> No. Oh. What? The whole wood structure. The entire front broke. All of the wood off the front came off. It all blew away. Ah! Half the stuff we did broke. Yesterday I took a bunch of pictures of it because I was so proud of it and now it's like folded over in half. We're really trying to upload every single Tuesday again and now we just can't catch a break. Things like this happen. Missing a Tuesday hurts the worst. It's the only thing I care about. There's nothing we could have 
Well, we could have built it stronger. <laughs> <laughs> first things first, we have to go around, clean up all the debris. Here's a look what it looks like on the second level. Basically every wall caved in and broke. So I'm gonna start cleaning all this up up here. You gotta get way up there and take that piece off because it's completely shredded and unusable. It's been a few hours now. We've managed to clean up most of the debris. Now it's time to actually start making repairs. We have to start by reframing that part that fell off, but we're gonna make it stronger this time. We do it nice because we frame it twice. We just spent all that time reframing the upstairs. Now we can cheat it again. I love doing things twice. If we do this entire thing again the exact same way, it's gonna fail again. When we originally built the trim bucket, we used weak fiberglass for the outside. Yeah. This time, I think we should use wood to go over the entire thing so it's stronger. I like that plan. So we have the bottom level sheeted. Now this is where the fun begins. Okay, a little to the left. My left. Okay. Oh, this hurts. Oh. oh my gosh, this is not good. This is not safe. <laughs> This is one of the most sketchy things we have ever done. It's also the tallest, so that's pretty cool. Our last piece right here. We have now sheeted it for the second time. Sun's about to set, so we're gonna leave it for the night. Hopefully this time it stays up, and tomorrow we can officially paint it. I think this will last a lot longer. It's the next day, and our chum bucket seems to be in perfect shape. It's now time to turn this into the real life chum bucket. Yeah! I'm starting up high so we can work with gravity. Hey, SpongeBob, am I doing this right? Probably not. I was talking to SpongeBob. <laughs> Why are we paying the chum bucket if we work at the Krusty Krab? Money. Speaking of money, if you hit the subscribe button, you can win $1,000 just like this. Hello? Hi. Since you're subscribed to the channel, you just won $1,000. Thank you. <laughs> so is Tom Kenny gonna react to this? I still haven't figured out how to contact him. What do you mean? Just ask Nickelodeon. It's not that simple. <sighs> so I'm gonna send one last message to Tom Kenny and hope this works. We can't wait any longer since we're uploading this video tomorrow. All right, I did everything we can. Hopefully we can get him. I'm drawing all the lines for the metal patches that go inside the chum bucket. Right now we're going across the entire build with a different color to give it the same brushstroke effect they have in the show. This is going to make it look sick. This is the perfect technique to get the right look. This is the most important part of the chum bucket. The sign out front, if I mess it up, it'll be really, really bad. About 20 minutes ago, Aaron said if he messed this up, we would all be upset with him, and he messed it up. The C looks like an O, so we're gonna fix it and make it a C. I can't wait to put this on top of the chum bucket. It's gonna be the crown jewel. Dude, this is gonna look so cool once we put it up on top. So right here is our giant handle to cap off our chum bucket. The handle is really heavy, and on top of the scaffolding is super sketch. We are about to install the glove, the crown jewel of this entire project, 36 feet in the air. I'm a little nervous, but we can do this. Lift. All right, here it comes. All right, so now is the hardest part. We need to get the glove on top of that. But in order to do that, we have to lift it up, and it's extremely heavy. Matt, we need another person up here, bro. We literally physically can't. Aiden, you're gonna need to push this corner that way. I'm gonna hold it, yeah, like that. Oh, my God. we got it! Yeah! was the spot. Yeah!